April 2015, gunmen stormed Garissa University, killing 148 people, injuring 79 more. And now, four years later on the show, we speak to some of the survivors in light of the recent reopening of the case as we allow them to share that traumatic ordeal with us and see how far they've come as we also learn a thing or two. So welcome to Unscripted with me, Grace Salame, filming right here at Grammar Suits. Let's get started. Welcome to Unscripted. Like I mentioned earlier, our conversation today is very, very sensitive. With me, I have two special people who I am privileged and honored um, that they said yes to this conversation. With me is Milka and Joseph, who survived the Garissa attack that happened four years ago. Today, we've come back to just get an understanding of how going through an experience like that can be to any individual. How are they doing now in light of um, we realize what happened and we've seen what has happened. A couple of people have been are in court and uh, justice is, is underway. So I'd like to hear from Milka and Joseph on that faithful day four years ago. Paint that picture for us. Where were you? How was that like? When did you know something was off? We can start with you, my dear. Uh, the previous day, the environment was just moody. And I remember it was first and it was on full day. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So people were like, there can be attack, but we were just ignoring. But you said the day before, there yeah. was, what was the mood? What do you mean the day before? The mood was, was like, uh, other was, others were happy, mm -hmm. but it was just like people knew, I don't know, like an instinct or something. Really? Yeah. So I remember I also pranked my mom. I told her, mm -hmm. oh, I don't want school. I want to go home, and she was like, "What's happening?" I told her, "No, I Mother's don't want." Mother's worst nightmare. Yeah, it's horrible. And I told her, "I don't want to. I don't, I don't, this place is far. I don't want." Ni, 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 ni. And I told her, uh, "Send me fair." Now, when she was about to send, I told her, yeah, "It's April's Fool's Day." Mm -hmm. So now, that fateful morning, I was waken up by uh, like commotion. What time was this? Five thirty a.m. Yeah, uh, there was a girl who came at the ground floor. I, I was in second floor. So at the ground, she screamed, mm -hmm. but no one knew why she was screaming. So there was that commotion. Everybody woke up yeah, and running. Uh, the, I remember I, I used to sleep I don't know how I got Chini yeah. and the stairs. Uh, the way you are sleeping, you know, it, that place is... Kunajoto, so you have your kitty shirt running, no shoes. Now, <coughs> when we were about to uh, to sneak now towards the field, there was a Kapanya route we had created, Kufika Field, Haraka. Our hostels behind there was field. So there now, <coughs> when we were at the field, mm. now they started shooting some the f something flares. Mm. Iki, ikiwaka, they see where people are and they start shooting it towards there. So for me, I didn't know it was gunshot all along. When okay. I saw the flares, ah. I thought it was uh, a short circuit or something mm. or steamers alipuka kitu yeah. kamayo. Okay. So I didn't run. What wana to Peter wanaenda wakiruka fence out. So me, nika sema mbona watu waende waruke fence waumie and it's for me, it's simple, as in, sioni kitu watu anakibea. 6.30 vile ilifika, the lights kukanza kuwa na muangaza. So, at that moment, kumbe there was an al-shabaab at the roof now. So, akatuona kabisa clearly. So, he started shooting towards us. So, he shot, and the first thing that came, sleep, lala flat, kwa chini. So, sis wote tuka lala flat, then we started rolling. Like, haku. ukisikia gunshot imesimama, tunakimbia hivyo. Until, tukaenda place, kuna shrubs, and I hesitate to honor, there is no view there. So that's where we, hapo kwa kona, ilikuwa like, kona ya fence hasa. Tali kuna square. But pretty much like a movie. Yeah, a movie. Kuna kimbia, you are rolling, you are, are rolling, ducking bullets. We are ducking bullets. You can see even, ikishika kwa... Kwa sand soil, kuzuko ni sand, you see the sand in a, in a nini, kabisa, like, it's real. At that moment, kulikuwa na watu natoka mosque. So, we, we told them, tafadhali, turusheni, ata slippers, jutusidungwe tuki, tukipanda. So, they helped us. 
Now for me and my friend, I, me I was unable to climb like kabisa. We he came up with an idea to kachimba juni sand in a toka haraka, then to ka inua fence to ka pita chini. Sasa, the other side. When we reached the other side, kulikuwa na another a certain mze whom I'm very grateful for. He told us, eh, don't worry, come to my place. Come, he was talking a very good English. Come to my place. My daughters will give you something to wear, and as I, I will call the chief. And how many are you at this time? Like fifteen. Wow. And you all went to his place. And uh, we all went to his place. Now when we are there, we told ourselves, eh, kuhivi, what if the Al Shabab comes? You know, ni sisi tu Then we started getting. We told him, no, we are not staying here because when they come, they'll kill us, not you. We want to go. He told us, Sasa hata mkienda muenda wapi, you don't know anywhere. No, he called the chief. And he told us, one of you, to talk so that you can know I'm not lying, I'm not calling I'm not them part on of you. them. Yeah. So the chief came now. And he started, he helped us. And he also asked for numbers for those who were inside. Were, also. You, been, were you able to contact your families at this point? Yeah, for me, there at that house, his children, the man now, uh, they gave us phones. Now when we called, at this time, but we are not sure what's happening. Now when one of us called, then the parent was so scared. Now the girl asked her mom, eh, why are you so scared? What's happening? Now the mom who is at home, the one telling him, we can see there is an attack. Now Sasandio, we just panicked Kabisa, and we were so afraid. We were, and at the same time, we are, you thank God you are that out. you made it out. We made it out out there. Whereas for you, Joseph, the experience was different. Yeah. To say the My least. My experience was uh, different from hers. Mm. Mm. I told Kumelala because it was early in the morning, right? Yeah, I told Kumelala. Though it's a sad thing that fateful day and your Thursday. Kama kawaida nilenda kwa second years, I picked up my girlfriend tukenda kutafuta sapa. Na ni kitu tu ilikuambia ama ni kama kawaida? Ah, ni kama kawaida. Okay. Unajua na demanding time so. So I took. <laughs> you are doing your duty. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, tukenda mess na kukuwa na stima na shule ndani kulikuwa na flood light ya streets zenye gavana kaka kila mahali. Pia ilikuwa off. So what happened? So ni kuna siku na kawaida but siku shughuli kabila kamrudisha kama second year yeah. and then kamwambia mm. tungoje stima zikuje mm. and atakuja saa 4 mm. to watch soap benyona benyona penda mm. na nikamwacha nikarudi kwa room that is on pandemic first year because me nilikuwa first year that but in any time yeah. so kule ni kawa stress time nikangoja saa 4 ifike stima bado mm. so basically went to her place pandemic second year Inye madem. Mm -hmm. So kumpata pale, tukuangia kidogo kidogo. Alafu juu, ya joto, ilikuwa kawaida kule madem kwa gosiku. Yani ilikuwa kawaida sisi wote basically juu, unge pata, unge lala joto. Okay. So nika mchute ya maji, I did the same for her roommates. Alafu, tukuangia unge analis kidogo, her name was Alice. Kumpati ya haga, kanyambia before I go. Mm -hmm ataka ni watch video fulani video clip fulani kwa simu yake so tukai exchange phones ukampatia yako ya yeah. okay. na par ya yangu nikampatia ilikuwa kabambe jo nikampoteza my smartphone mm -hmm. so nikatoa simu ka nikampatia simu akafanya the same case nikachukua so nikaka mfuko giba nikampatia hug tukaongea kidogo alafu kama kawaida as in kitu niliko nimezoa kama kawaida kufanya ni nikiondoka na mwambia pataneke but kila at that particular time I never did, I never told her that so nilimwambia tu wewe rudi kwa room kana ndio kwa nini ukisema tupataneke ya na si jawai sahau yani ni, ni, ni mazoea nimekuwa nao mwambie kila mtu hivyo so mimi nikatoka nikaenda kenda kwa room nikapika kahawa tena kunywa nikalala kitu saa tisa. saa tisa kujiekelea hivi nikaacha simu ya sasa Alice kaina imba ngoma tu Around 5.30, nika sikia gunshot ya kwanza. Na wole juwa ni gunshot, wole kujua? You knew instantly? Ya, juu nimezea kuzisikia. Na juu nimezea kuenda nje ya shule ya nigeri sato wa muji pata kwa yu konflikti ya KDF na the locals ya. So, 
gani shuti kwa nika shuka, kato kani nika sima kwa balcony. Ule na kwa balcony? Yeah. You're not afraid, maybe unge kupata na na ule na tupa yoy gani shut? Si unasikio sa au si una una zaidi. You know where it's coming. Yeah, una zaidi locate kwenye kwa. Okay. So au ingi na kato kambi yoy like yoy wiki, like most of us alikuwa na jua something was going to happen and we were expecting them to come. Eventually got me choka toroka and took me choka kote. During the local day, they did not make a threat. They did not make a talk. No, now you tell me because I'm a man of culture. We've had enough. We're at the point where basically we don't tolerate my wife. So, hey, I'm going to ask you again. Show your pili. So, your pili, you know, you know, watch man, I'm going to show your time. I left and the two patrol officers now are going to be a couple of cars. I should go here. Cut to him. Cut to him. But to carry on, to do. So at what at what point for you did you realize that yeah this is not after I'm in the hostel, I'm scared. Bullets in the hostel. I'm in the ground floor. Can you be kind? I'm in the room that is. I'm in the tent. I'm in the tent. I'm in the tent. You made your bed. Yeah. I'm laughing. I'm laughing. I'm talking because my cobalt. I'm laughing. I'm in the kitchen. 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 Mwangaza imeanza kuingia juu it was wakianza ilikuwa darkness total darkness yeah. Fika second floor penye nimesimama like uh, roughly estimation 30 meters ndio staircase A ziko. Uko na moja. walikuwa tatu wamepanda. Alafu moja mwenye alikuwa muongoza alikuwa amevaa arafat. Alafu na uniform ya ah ah makara wa boda patrol I think kama sijakosea. Yeah. Alikuwa na Ya yeah, aliniona so juu tulikuwa tumeangaliana yani basically za straight na hakuna kitu juu hapa nguo zua niko na hakuko na nguo so tunaonana so akafika second floor mimi nimeangalia tu alafu wakasema ala wakubara wakaanza kusema akasema ala wakubara hapo ndio ni hit ni al shabab mmm kwa uh, kuna another student na akatoka kwa washroom zaka kingi yeye ndio alio distract so ah bado la kujeli waka I mean, I can't go to a room. I can't disorganize the room. I can't go to the school. 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 There was enough space. Yeah. So many can get in a kitanda. But before I found even a made so in this room, I looked at the kahawa, a colored whatever plastic cup, so I could hang a belly up in a feature. Did it cover you though? Like ah, I just couldn't feature in any way. Kitanda is cochin, so basically I knew. I can get a corner. I can get a new one, but it's a big one. Chances are, and as a young lady, I can't na. I can't get a new one. Jubado, njoo kuna stima na mbongo ni kuna giza. Yeah. So, kwa pande ju bedi kuchini, kichwa ni mela ni mguza floor. So basically, skio my ear hili kwa metach metach ni ni floor yani. So basically, ninge skia ni ni kwa skia. Vinyo ana shoot, ana piga risasi, ana skio bullet ki pita through someone's body. Ni kwa skia mbaka. Yeah, na sikia ikigonga flow yani so basically ni kwa sikizo details zote mlango iko wazi na una vituko nje. At that moment ulifanya nini? Yani I decided to fight back yani basically ni kona hapa my only my only whatever any defense in ni kona ni kuongea na Mungu. Kujaribu the grace maneno zikapotea. Our father fika yo daily bread na sahau zingine stuff and you spoke from your heart. Yeah, nika nika mongele shatu na shengi lugia kai that way. Nika mambia. Yeah, God. Yeah. Nimejua tangu nilete hapa nimekua nikifanya staff zingine za nyazi kubaliki kwako. Yeah. Nika mambia zote alafu. So mi nika mambia mi atakusha nika mpatia sababu. Na nika mambia if at all ni his own will ni kufeo de. Nika mambia anipati option ya kuchagwa the way. Nafaa kufa. So ni kama ambia, I prefer. Nenda kwa barabara, ni gungwe na gari. Kuliko, ah, vijana wanaka, wakaunanja. Yani, 
kapata chance ifikia hiyo gani yani unaweza muangusha unaweza maliza mm -hmm. the fact that ameshika hiyo gani ndio anakuva part so nikamwambia sikubali yani after saying those words yani route we did to lie i don't know why mm -hmm. katulia tu so can you can go next room kula liko sawa tu akupata mtu so basically sana kumbuka kitoka hiyo room footsteps yours was next mhm mm asikia kitembea mlango iko wazi buti yake kanyanga door step yangu na wana kila kitu akaingia so ni ndani my trick ya kufungua ya kudisorganize the room na kufungua mlango wazi na wardrobe ziwe zi wazi itafanya kazi but i work so aliingia tu kuingia akaangalia wardrobe kitu ya kwanza na zilikuwa wazi akona ni empty kulikuwa na kitu fulani hapo chea hizi ma college seats kajishike mwanzo akaika alikuwa na AK47 akaka kumgongo mwanzake akamgoja nje a white young man i think what is it alikuwa mtize divi so mgoja pale nje akaingia akashikilewa kiti piga goti akaangalia chini yake tanda chini yake alafu penye niko penye niko sasa akapata mimi nimemwangali mlangala macho kwa macho tukaangaliana like 3 to 4 seconds alafu akaangalia zile vikombe those colored cups and stuff alafu akasimama so mimi nadhani atatoa ike yake amimini risasi kule niko baada kufanya hivyo alitoka akaenda tu so nikakaa kaa pale around 30 my other room it menyoka kwa shelf kule juu i think alichoka yani kukaa pale yakashuka nika ndakumuliza are you to be mind unaenda wapi but mm -hmm. sauti haikutoka yani sasa niliko nimeacha kuwa terrified at naweza kufanya any time sasa niko terrified mwana niacho akatoka before end akaniambia Jason ni mwana makedi makedi yes nikampata dakika tano nisikia kama atashutiwa hakushutiwa sikusikia gunshots so mimi nikaamka nikatoka kuchungulia hivi makedi yes nao alikuwa kuangalia kwa first floor mm -hmm. but on the opposite side so naweza haona kwenye wako could you make it to them because you were on second floor mm -hmm. so naona nao alikuwa frightened so nao can point their guns but oh, this pointed at you yeah like in the fact that sikuona shati so uh, then hakushona hakushut let's take a short breather this is a very very heavy conversation when we come back joseph will take us through that fateful morning and how that experience was like for him stay tuned all right joseph so you are on second floor and you can see kdf are on ground yeah. and they are your saving grace at this point how did you get there mm, after i met your wallet mm -hmm. like they told me pamoja na simu how are they telling you this in a sign language see uh, like uh, kama unote wa ya wanampia hivi basically unajiona simu kwambia wallet ya alafu shati lakini shati sasa kuvanileka so shati for people at home what did what did the shati signify yani yeye na in a side of the kid yeah yani could differentiate between students now yeah okay so juice is in the little cup melala melala kifuazi so mimi nikazichukua alafu wakanihesabia kitambio bela yo mlango kumbuko na the other shabab game when you can exchange fire the kdf when you can nje so nikafika kwa stay at sb kashuka all the way mpaka ground floor so another challenge ilikuwa kupita mbele hizo washrooms ju pita upon ilikuwa na ji exposed i see no nazo na shabab are they there ah wengine washaenda like come maliza me clear the whole from one in first years block wameenda sasa kwa second years so basically mmoja tu alikuwa mabaki tu so pita hapo mbele my way ni ndo nifike ground floor niliona tu vitu kwa yani what did you see yani blood everywhere mimi ndo alikuwa amejaribu ku kdf alikuwa amejaribu kuzificha ficha na zingi za kwa room ndo sisi wengine ni tubaki tu sizione yani so pita mbele ya washroom kenda hapo nyuma mm -hmm nikapata kuna wengine sasa wamekuwa rescue ndio wamefika tu hapo ukaingia hapo eh pamoja nikangoja tu tumeke tu hapo chini tu sasa angalia tu watu tu wamechanganikiwa tu of course tumechanganikiwa alafu makedefa anatuambia tushike simu unajua sasa simu zinaitana hatutaki kushika mmoja akatuambia kedef mmoja akatuambia tuchukue tu tunatesa wazazi sio kashika anikachukua we stem cell ilikuwa bro Bro na ananiambia Eh mwirori uko wapi? Ah mimi bado niko huko kwa hostel. Wewe jificha asikupa? Asikupa. Asikupa. Ah, Nikamwambia sawa. Kidogo kidogo simikaitana tena na Iba. 
Where you I'm going to say that I'm going to Did you speak to your parents at any point? Yes, I was very happy. 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 I was very So when you go, I can like a meet me pick the Nangu Simu in Cafania Patica. Eh, I love some my mom, Susanna. I shiki when you go and be on that's only to my Kijanango. Now I want to go in there. Can you imagine? So I look chaotic, you know, chaotic sign in Bane. But making it out for both of you, no. So when you're brony, the Mongation can't be a sign in Kumalia for that in Akambia. Akambia, at least. I love such a similar one percent Nikazi. Kaizima. So to can go up of close to two hours up on the man in the laughing of Sasa. To ka pity a mali co fans, to can get one tar, Sasa. Kidef and also dear Mamma, my okay dear Sasa. Since the sort of Pitakom tar, all the impact will get. Saka get could go on a mosque on the look on India Sasa. Yeah, Pusa Komosk Nilifka to Sane. So let me ask, um, you mentioned, um, the night before you. You were there for your girlfriend. Yeah. Um, she even gave you her phone yeah. before she passed. Mm -hmm. And Milka, I don't know if you had any close friend with you. And did they make it out? Did Nancy make it out for you, Joseph? Alice, no. Alice. I uh, know she never made it. I couldn't, I couldn't make it. I couldn't hit me. 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 When did you find out? Asa moja zosiku. Basi amusho ilikuja. Nke ndabo kwa entrance ndi kangoja kina mtu shuke. Mwenye ali shuka tu ni her roommate. Ani to Catherine. Catherine kamuliza ali sako hapi. Ya anangalia anali ya tu. Aka anangalia kanali? Anali ya so. Nika anika mchukua nika mhagi nika umbia. Nisawa tu. Asiseme kitu so. Kampelea kwa hale ingine, katulia, katulia, ni kamuacha, ni karudi kwa habi shiteza angu. Hmm? Uli nyambia kitu, manzo, yeah. uluwa chote ya maji, wote kwa rumu? Ya, yeah. um, chote ya anilwa chote ya marambili, mara kwanza, ando, au ya usiku, alafi ya pili. And you told me you feel like that's the reason why they didn't make it out. Why did yeah, you think so, that? Yeah, so, juu, ile group ya masekendezo nyali survive. Majority, yeah. most of them wali ya mkasubu chote ya maji. Well, I'm around 5 30. Jumaji Akukua, Jokwana Stima. So basically, I figured out uh, Kama Singh and Jote and Pamojana her roommates. Labdo and Yamka. Jimmy Catherine Ili Moliza must have left a metulia can be a nini. Nicole Nicanilla Moliza to Yan, Munala Langage. A Hanilism woman and Lizard, and Munala Langage. A Hanambia. This is a gunshot to this care. But we done it too. Because while in Nambia has to her side of the story, Nambia is done in full day. At my kid, if I'm going to join in, at any drills, as. But I'd like to know how did Leo Joseph four years later, even earlier, how did that make you feel knowing Alice passed in that way? Umehil. Ah, yani yani. Koi yo part ni 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 me koi ignore to the match on the zafanya ni ko koi ignore to yani. Una jaribu kuto fikiria. Jumi mi aliwa kina mbia lot about her father. Sometimes aliwa na mi ana nisha messages. Yani aliwa na chat kama best best friend yani. Tava ni liba kina simia ki una una tuma messages yani. Na jo mano me paliyo ko. Ana umia. Yeah. Na yada aliwa aliwa the the source of hope yani of the family juu remember aliwa kina mbia ko muingi juu ko ni muingi. Kuna kuanga na issues, juu issues na nini you can you can tell juu zuma issues ni yatu wongelea so her parents walikuwa na prefer badala akifunga shule nde mungi akai mta inetoa madogo walikuwa na mrenti ya nyumba upo. They had plans and visions. Yeah, na na juu walikuwa somia walimu, I think walikuwa somia walimu so basically walikuwa kitafuta job kwa juu high school zauko so akiwa longo ni juu walikuwa nenda ana 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 mrenti oke ya madogo alafu fia na tafuta job. I'm sorry, so I'm going to do it here. So I can, no, 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 no,
uh, financially, psychologically. I love it to go on to a fanya. Fanamaliza to my shan, no. Do you see come my shall speak a kilipote? Any Pia Baba can familiar care. When we come back, um, we hear from Milk and Joseph, and I ask if they could speak to those men to their face, what would they tell them? Stay tuned. Welcome back. Thank you for watching Unscripted. When we finish part two, Joseph, you mentioned how you don't understand how people can wake up in the morning and just take away the livelihoods of everyone and hopes and dreams of many people. So if you're given a chance to speak to them face to face, what would you tell them? Uh, you no longer can't be character, can't be classified and put in the same group as a human being. As in, she's on Ganawa, she's on Biaki to basically, they are not human beings to me. They're just like intelligent beings when you're on a Zonga, on a upright channel. Yeah, basically, I don't think they, they have the same rights. Come as you see, so she's on Biaki. For me, it's just not fair for you to wake up and kill people. It's only God who gives and takes lives. So it's it's not like Joseph said. You are not any way to see binadamu because that a binadamu anautu. Any you just can't wake up and shatter people's dreams just like that. They were students. They were any other even mtu alitoka kwa alifika Nairobi ndio ende siku ya kwanza amefika Nairobi aende Garissa the next time anapita Nairobi ni Chiromo even it's not fair cuz alikuwa na dreams na hopes yeye ndo alikuwa anategemewa so basically it's not fair and it's good wamepatikana and action will be taken against them yeah have you forgiven them unaweza wasamee kweli yeah, my my faith allows forgiveness, and according to Christianity and my faith, kila kitu happen for a reason. Yeah, so I forgive them personally, but not many can agree with that. But for my peace of mind, for me now, for me to move on, I have to let it go. Joseph, on my part, I said the I feel anything, anger, I'm a disappointment towards when you find evil or shark of an when you saw there's a got no chungu now those eyes no chungu but she's what you am and i need to say they feel anything if anything happened to them yani. basically when you were in charge of the security forces like na kumbuka sana ni kuna politicians wawili walifika pale shule sana za asubuhi na najua wametembea all the way from Nairobi na ndege alafu wanatuambia reke squad wamekuja na gari kwa sababu tu kwa mimi kwangu they mean nothing yani basically sai mimi mtu mwenye za enzi sana ni mwana nchi wa kawaida mwenye anajitafutia amefungua mpesa shop mahali ameandika mtu ndio mwana nchi so you don't feel like they care for. I hope you're listening. Joseph has broke his heart. Um, now, Milk, I know you're in school. Oh, you're finishing. You're about to graduate. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, after that experience, where did you go? And coming from an environment where it's your first, do you in first year when it happened? Yeah, I was in first year. And uni is meant to be an exciting time. You're getting independence, and then that happens. So now when you're in school, how was that for you? Um, being in another university, were you scared? How were you feeling? Yeah, we were scared. Personally, I was very scared. I actually stayed for in the hostels only the semester which we were, we were received there. When they received us, they made sure we had... Where did you go? You can tell us. We went, all of us went to Moy University, main campus Eldoret. So when they received us, they made sure we had accommodation. So that's the only time I stayed in the hostels. I couldn't, even for those days I, went, I was in the hostels, at five I was awake. Mm, PTSD. Yeah. 
and why Eniko, just being around in that room yeah when... and a place where it's crowded it was an issue commotions you know students have commotions others maybe are from parties and stuff when they just make a noise or any unashtuka to so after yeah after that semester i rented a place outside the school yeah up to today i can't go in crowded places and if i do the first thing i spot is an exit you even said here the yeah, first thing you look for anywhere you go is the first exits. time i came here on your set i saw where i could fit and how i could and where i can run. i have already figured that out yeah did the school or institution offer any counseling yes it did yeah we were offered counseling yeah after that we were even given a one month break before we went to moi for us to heal was that beneficial yeah it was very beneficial okay yeah. and for you joseph what are you up to now and life can never be normal you have a new normal what's what's different now what what is what matters to you after that experience no na go dan angalia ya yeah he has my back so can am i risk take on yeah so go pin do pe in effect no one or not i like sign mu avoid sana to connect intimately yani na na mtu yote yani yeah you know my biggest fear do ni lona to end ado akienda the experience yani ile kingo na back now yeah so basically my risk take on sign they can pay for the counseling i hope yeah yeah ni lipiti ya okay i even had to seek more counseling whatever sessions ndio yani nirudi kwa sawa yani even though siko vile nilikuwa kitambo yani what are your hopes and dreams now guys um for me i'm waiting for my graduation uh, i'm also doing side hustles yeah let's more survive let's more survive in yeah mm. so i'm doing side hustles up and up and yeah i will also looking for work yeah. it related that's why i did computer science and you joseph what are your biggest hopes and dreams now so i want any kuna my own startup tech startup that is yeah ni mko ni kienda hizi ni ni za 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 tech yani so basically ile idea ni kona the only challenge i have yani the only thing i have to do say itengeneze a a product in a economic business model and i can sell to the public and okay. and as a benefit yani as a serve humanity at large yeah bless you bless you um as we wrap i'd like to know from those of us outside looking in situ liona kwa magazeti tv you hear of these experiences um so it could be us as strangers it could be a family member when someone goes through an experience like this how can us who don't understand how can we support you immediately years later what is the best way to be there for you in your healing process just listen first because listening is part of healing when you listen what i'm saying you listen to what i'm saying i'll i don't need you to say anything because you know kuna wengine ulikuwa unawaambia they tell you songe kimbia songe toroka you say i was the one who was there not you so listen to me and yani unisikize and encourage and be there because other people had uh, nightmares traumatizing moments yeah so be there yeah make sure keep in touch also when maybe your your son or daughter is away check on them, check on them constantly yeah maybe you can you can never see them again never know thanks for that reminder i hope you're listening at home joseph my partner is the same like uh, she has said the match one is supposed to do, be a good listener when a man say you listen don't talk usionge don't ask anything listen be a listener alafu ni kuuliza uko wapi uko kijani eh akaa mivo ndio nataka mtu kunisikiza so let me talk nyonge yangu yote nimalize alafu ndio kieniende the match kwa lot to ask unaanza tukani kosa ni kwa mimi ni kosa tuseka 
don't try and push and, mm. and figure it out for part, you. Mm. On my part, I'm working on myself. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Milka. Um, if there's any way we can help, we're always here. Um, and we wish you all the very best. Like she said, to those at home, there are many others who survived. We are with you. Um, and like she said, there's a reason you've been given another chance. So together, um, yeah, may we achieve our purpose in life. And to those lives that were lost, oof, continue to rest in peace. And as we've said, and as we're seeing that's happening right now, justice is being served. On that note, we do have to say goodbye. Thank you for watching Unscripted. A special thanks to Grammar Suits for hosting us as always. We really appreciate If you want to reach us, the contacts are right below. But until next week, do have a good night and God bless. Bye.